everyone, my name is Katie Johnson. I'm a graduate assistant here in the Career Development Center at MSU, and I'm going to be giving you a few interview tips today. Before I came to MSU, I was actually a recruiter at a staffing company, so I was working with recent college graduates, so I got to learn a lot about what made an interview stand out, and some things that we just don't know that we're not doing right, or that we should be avoiding. So first, let's start with some positives. Definitely know your resume. There was obviously something on your resume or in your cover letter that an employer really responded to. So when you're in that off in that entryway and there's a ton of magazines in front of you, I would definitely say not to read the magazines to take out that resume so you feel really, really prepared to sell your experiences and sell your skills. Also, first impressions make a really big deal. Arrive early, anywhere from 10 to 5 minutes early, and make sure to jot down a name and the number of who you're meeting, because if you're running late or if you can't find the building, always make sure to give them a courtesy call if you are running late. Also, dress professionally. Um, like I said, first impressions can really make the difference. So when you're actually responding to questions that employers are posing to you, one of my biggest pieces of advice is to tell a story. It will make you more memorable and it's more fun to tell and we always like to use the STAR method here in the Career Development Center where you start with the situation, then you talk about what tasks were needed to be accomplished, then you talk about action and that's what you personally did to make sure that whatever the task was was being completed and then the R stands for result. So what was the result of it? Did it work? Did it not work? What did you learn from that? And then the second R is relate. So you always want to relate it back to the position that you're currently applying for. So now I'm going to tell you a few things that you shouldn't do in interviews. The first one is, even though it's really tempting to maybe embellish a little bit your um, experiences, definitely don't lie. Be your honest self and make sure that you are telling them exactly what you did. An example of this is, say that they're looking for someone who is fluent in Spanish and you took Spanish in high school and it's on your resume and it says that you are conversational or fluent, make sure that you're really representing your best self in interviews. My other piece of advice is to always ask questions when an interview says, so do you have any questions for me? One of the biggest faults I think is when you say, nope, I don't have any questions. It shows that you're kind of disinterested in the position. So always prepare anywhere from three to five questions to ask your employer whether it be about their company itself or your position itself.